Hello everyone and in this video I'm going to show you that how you can start using the progress view introduced in Swift UI 2.0. Now the progress view is easy to create. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and create a vertical stack and inside the vertical stack I'm just going to go ahead and say progress view. You can see that this particular control is available. Make sure that you have Xcode 12 beta because all of these features are available in Xcode beta. So you do have to download that in order for this to work. Over here in the progress view, I'm going to pass in different things we can pass. So we can go ahead and pass in the actual value where we are starting or some sort of a loading symbol. So loading and the value that we are actually starting, which it can be 0.5 and the total value where it's going to end and that can be 1.0. So this means that the progress view right now is 50%. Let's go ahead and build our application so that this error is removed. You can see right over here in the preview that the progress view is created and it is 50% because the total is 1.0 and we are at 0.5. But how can we make it animation animated? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and press a button over here. I'll create a button called download. And inside this, I'm just going to say start download. Now this particular function we still need to implement. So I'm going to go over here and implement this function. I will call it start download function. We are going to go ahead and create a timer. So I'm going to go ahead and create a timer where I can go ahead and pass in the time interval. There are multiple ways of creating a timer. So I'm going to fire 0.1 seconds and repeat what's going to be true because we are going to be repeating this particular timer. All right. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to fire the timer over here, which is the actual block. In the block, the timer will be passed to you already, and we can go ahead and maybe add something over here, like plus equals to two or something for the downloaded property. The downloaded property will be a state property, so we do have to declare that. I'm going to go ahead and say state private var, and I will say downloaded, which can be a CG float value, and we are going to be starting with zero. So this means that every one, 0 0.1 second, it's going to be adding zero uh, plus equals to two. Now at this point, we also need to make a check that if the self.download is less than or equal to 100, actually less than 100, only then we should be adding it over here. And just to keep it a little bit more different, we can go ahead and add one to it. So we are going from zero to 100. So if it is less than 100, then we are going to do this part. Else, well, there's nothing really we can do because the timer is ran out. We have already downloaded all the stuff. So we are going to add plus equals to one to the downloaded property. And this is a state property. So every time that properties change, we are going to be refreshing or rendering the whole user interface. Now I can go ahead and say on the run loop dot main dot add, and I can actually go ahead and pass in the timer for a particular mode, which will be dot common. So we're trying to run the timer on the main thread. Now you can also do this by scheduling a timer if you want to, that's also perfectly fine. The final thing that we need to change over here is the actual value because right now it's all hard coded and also the total value. I'm just going to say 100 and I'm going to update this value to be called self.downloaded so that our value can be updated. Let's go ahead and refresh our interface. We should be able to see a button now. Okay, let's try it again. Maybe we're doing something wrong, but let's go ahead and try it again. Sometime, since this is a beta product, this is Xcode 12 beta, you will see some issues. Let's go ahead and click on the play button. And once the preview is ready, we can go ahead and click on the download. 
And there we go. You can see that now we have a progress view and it is downloading all the way. It's going to go to 100 and then it's going to stop because this condition is met and the timer will be invalidated. So just with a few lines of code, we were able to create the progress view. If you want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my course, SwiftUI Dictative Interfaces for any Apple device. This is the best selling course on Udemy about SwiftUI and you can see it is 16.5 plus hour, just pure SwiftUI content. You can see that we're going to start with building lists and navigation. We're going to even dive into MVVM design pattern and implement a complete coffee ordering app in which you're going to learn how to talk to an API, a JSON API, get and also post. Later on, you're going to be learning about core data in SwiftUI. You will also learn about different recipes, how to build a rating view control. And then at the end, you can see that we are going to learn about how to implement a stocks clone for Apple app in SwiftUI. So this is an amazing course. Now the best way to get this course is to check out the links in the YouTube description. And there are a lot of other courses that I have on Udemy. So if you already have this course, then check out some other courses that I have and I'm sure you will find it helpful. Thank you so much. And I really hope that you have enjoyed this video.